good day to each and everyone. Our discussion for today is all about the computer systems, devices, and peripherals. Let us start. First, what is an operating system? The operating system is the most important program that runs on the computers. Okay? The OS or the operating system is a part of a category in a software compared to the, so to the computer hardware. So, OS is a category of system software. Also, operating systems perform basic tasks such as recognizing input from the keyboard, sending output to the display screen, keeping track of files and directories on the disk, and controlling peripherals devices such as desk drives and printers. So the, these examples or these um, images are the examples what our operating system can be done. Okay? OS or the operating system can be classified as follow. Number one, multi-user. Allow, so it, it allows two or more users to run programs at the same time. What are the examples of the OS? The examples are the Linux, Unix, Windows 2000, and the latest nowadays, the Windows 11. The next one, multi-processing. The OS support, supports running a program on more than one CPU. The example again, the Linux, Unix, and Windows OS. Multitasking allows more than one program to run concurrently. So those, those are the categories of the classified by the OS. And the other one, multi-trading allows different parts of a single program to run concurrently. So these are the example of OS. So meron na po dito Windows 7. But the latest version in Windows is the Windows 11. And the next one is the real time. Response to input instantly. General purpose of an OS such as DOS or DOS command and Unix are not real time. What are the devices of a computer? So the example of the devices is a part of an hardware compared to the OS is a soft system software. So let us discuss the devices on hardware computer or devices of a computer. Number one are the hardware. So the physical, touch, the physical touchable, electronic, and mechanical parts of a computer. That is the definition. Number one, the devices is the system unit. The system unit is the main part of a microcomputer, sometimes called the chassis. And then, it includes the following parts in the system unit. Inside the system unit, the motherboard, microprocessor or the CPU, memory chips, buses, ports, expansion slots, and cards. So that this is the example of the system unit and the parts inside of the system unit. Okay, as you can see the power supply, ports, different cards, and the CPU and RAM. Okay, so let us discuss it one by one. The next one is the motherboard, main board, or the system board. The main circuit board of a computer, once the uh, motherboard, main board, or system board is called the main circuit board. It contains all the circuit and components that run the computer. So all the connectors are put together or attached to the motherboard. So there are many parts of the motherboard. 
as you can see it's the example so basically the example are the north north bridge south bridge agp agp slot or port the pci or the network CMOS battery cpu socket heat sink and so on so there are also my many connectors from them okay those are the examples that you can see in the motherboard okay so let us continue number three the cpu or the central processing unit the processor is the main brain or heart of a computer system it performs all of the instruction and calculations that are needed and manage and manage the flow of information through a computer so th these are the examples of the uh, CPU the Intel the common CPU nowadays are the Intel and AMD okay so those are the examples in CPU AMD and Intel number four the primary storage once we said the primary storage are the internal internal storage main memory or the memory itself is the computer's working storage space that holds data instruction data instructions for processing and process data so it's called primary storage two types of memory so let us discuss it individually okay so the first one is the rom room or the read only memory so the room is non-volatile meaning it holds data even when the power on uh, the power is on or off so the computer is the room is functioning even the computer is off or on because these chips are attached to the motherboard okay so that is the room the next one is the ram okay the ram is the random access memory ram is volatile meaning it holds data only when the power is on so it also it only function when the computer is powered on when the power of, when the power is off ram ram's contest are lost so not functional when the computer is power off so these are the examples of the ram the latest uh, ram nowadays is the ddr4 once we said the ddr4 is double data rate ddr4 okay continue expansion expansion bus a bus is a data pathways between several hardware components inside or outside the computer it does not only connect the parts of the cpu to each other but also links the cpu with other important hardware as you can see the uh, bus or the expansion bus can be located near the cpu okay so it is a part of the motherboard also so as you can see the expansion bus is nearly uh, located in the cpu next one the adapters adapters are the printed circuit board also called the nic or the network interface card so that enable the computers to use a peripheral device for which it does not have the necessary connection or circuit boards there are many examples of adapters and i see for the internet video card for the graphics and you sound card sound card for the purpose of sound so those are the examples of adapters in the example below uh, it shows the NIC or the network interface card so as you can see it is the wireless example 
the other picture is the uh, card using the LAN cable. Okay, the port, LAN port siya, and then the wireless. The next one is the PSU or the power supply unit installed in the back corner of the PC case next to the motherboard and it converts the 120 uh, standard host power into DC voltage that are used by other components in the personal computer or the PC. So this power supply contains the voltages that computers run into electronics. So this example the this is the example of the power supply. Okay. So it is the size of the standard power supply. Other system unit uh, are example by are compatible by other kinds of uh, power supply. It depends to the casing of the system unit. Also to the slots of the motherboard. It also depends, no? Okay, but are the standards of the power supply? So the example shown below. Number eight, the hard disk drive. So commonly known as hard drive or is a magnetic storage device that is installed inside the computer. The hard drive is used as permanent storage for data. So that, this is the example that you will uh, store data or any resource, res, resources on your computer such as the program, the operating system, application, and then any resources such as the save file, the sound, or the music, video, or the working activities. So those resources can be stored in this hard drive. Nowadays, the latest uh, storage device are the SSD. So SSD. This is the example of the SSD. So it is more uh, 10 times faster than the SS, the hardest drive. No, masabilis siya. 10 times ang SSD to the normal hard disk drive and also the example of uh, hard disk drive categorized into two it is the standard and the other one is the that is M2 or the NAND SSD so this kind of SSD are nowadays uh, the storage device that can be used the hard disk drive or the SSD is phased out already in the market so the two storage devices can be used by M2 or the standard SSD okay so let us continue Number nine, the optical drive. An optical drive is a storage device that used or uses lasers to create data on the optical media. There are three types of optical drives: the CD or the compa compact disc, DVD or the digital versatile disc, and the last one is the BD or the Blu-ray disc. And the last one the DVD so designed to optically access data store on a DVD a laser moves back and forth near the disk surface and access data at a very fast rate so you can also uh, store your data resources in DVD okay so those are the examples of computer systems devices and peripherals thank you so much and God bless Bye-bye.